This time around we have a 2002 Subaru Impreza with a 2.5 liter engine. And let's go over the connectors. We have the um, ECU connectors. Comes out to a grommet. And we have the engine connectors as well as the um, atmospheric pressure sensor. And we follow this around. And we see another grommet. This was from a automatic transmission car. So um, those have been snipped off. And we have the O2 sensor, a uh, little connector for the sub harness. And we have the start wire that goes to the starter solenoid. Okay, then we have the OBD2 port. And that's it on that big chunk. And if we kind of come back to this one, we have the fuel pump relay and the main ignition relay and the test mode connector. So now I'm gonna unwrap it all. I got all of the split loom and tape off, so now it's time to start pulling all the loose wires that uh, went to unnecessary connectors. So I'm gonna pull all this stuff out. All of the loose wires are taken out of the harness and we have the uh, coil of wires that go to the ECU that uh, had some clip connectors. So this is roughly how it's gonna end up in the van. Just kind of going from the ECU out to the engine connectors and we're gonna have a little leg that goes to the black box and that's it. So next up, I'm gonna identify these loose wires that go to the ECU. Using the ECU pinout, you can identify, based upon the connectors, the wires that uh, terminated at the computer but uh, ended in connectors that you didn't need. You can find this pinout on my website. There'll be a link in the description. So uh, just a few connections that need to be made for uh, this harness and then we can test it. All of the splices have been made and so uh, now everything's labeled, uh, at least temporarily. We have our OBD2 uh, Elm 327 reader clicking away. It's um, a Wi-Fi unit transmitting to the iPad, which then gives us a reading of what the computer is seeing from its inputs and outputs. So um, you can hear the fuel pump relay clicking on and off because I have it in test mode currently. The green connectors are plugged in. I have a little 12 volt battery pack powering the whole thing. You can see the test lamp is clicking on and off with the fuel pump. So fuel pump is clicking on and off just fine. We have uh, the wiring harness grounded to this guy. And what we're gonna do is test the uh, vehicle speed sensor. So here it is. And I'm just going to tap it on some metal and you'll see the mile per hour go. There it goes. So that's working just great. And um, we are ready to cover everything up with split loom. The harness is all wrapped up with the split loom. Got the nice big grommet to fit the engine connectors through the uh, firewall in the um, under seat area. That's where we're gonna mount the uh, ECU. Relays, test mode, OBD2. These are the tank sensors. Throw a code killer on that. Follow this guy around and we come to the first branch. And we have the starter solenoid. This goes to the uh, extra lug on the starter solenoid and the fuel pump uh, positive. Come out here, this goes to the black box and the vanigan. And we have the engine related connectors and the atmospheric pressure sensor. Come right here, and I've already uh, stripped the alternator harness. It's a real small thing on a vanigan. It, it just plugs into the vanigan existing harness, or you can run it to the black box if you wish, or run it to the starter solenoid for the uh, battery lugs, which is my preferred method. But you can also just plug it right into the uh, vanigan harness. 
So that wraps it up for the 2002 Impreza. This is a 2.5 harness going into a Vanagon.